Kazo, what is your best tip for new players of Honkai Star Rail? Yeah, so what's what's my tips for new players of Honkai Star Rail? I did say in my video to not waste your fuel, but, but, there's a big but, I did a little bit of research, I did a little bit of research, and it's not actually too bad to waste some of your fuel. I'm at like, how much fuel now? I'm at like 20 something, and I used quite a bit of it to just level myself up, but as people made some good good points in the comments that it actually helps you to level up quicker. So say if you want to get to the, you know, end game content, then, and you don't really want to go through all of these boring, like, message quests and stuff, then actually it's, it's a pretty good uh, option to use your fuel and just sit and autoplay through the, um, I don't know, credits or something like that. You could, like, farming credits and, and like, it, um, what do you call it, like, the level up materials isn't a bad thing at all, because obviously it will help your characters in the future. Manage the fuel usage is the best advice. Yeah, exactly. So manage it well, don't use it all. Don't use all of your fuel on it, because you just don't want to do that. Okay, is it like you, you can use it for farming late level up materials, because it's, it's, it's kind of like fragile resin. It's exactly like fragile resin. Is there any free to play Bronya? Um, kind of. Uh, I assume you're meaning just uh, like an alternative for Bronya. A good alternative for Bronya would be a character like Tingyun, and I managed to get Tingyun the other day as well. Yeah, free to play uh, Bronya. Tingyun is like the best uh, free to play buffer. And, you know, is a good alternative for Bronya. Bronya is obviously the best, but, you know, not all of us can get Bronya. <laughs> but Bronya is definitely one of the highest, if you don't have her already, I, you know you've got this thing on your warp where you get 300, uh, 300 wishes, you get it guaranteed. Then Bronya is definitely the one that you want to be getting because she is insane. Like, she helps, she boosts your damage so much. But yeah, Tingyun is probably your best bet because, you know... She's quite easy to build and relatively easy to get. I say easy to get, like, she should be because she's a four star. And I know a lot of people have get four stars and t they got Ting Yun, like, first time. But I'm level 35 and I've literally only just got Ting Yun. So, yeah, that's, th but that that just could be my luck. I honestly, I have the worst luck in the world. What if no Ting Yun? Um, pretty much, we're pretty limited on characters in Honkai at the moment just because of how, like, you know, it's a new game. But... I'd say the only one else to go for is probably Asta, because obviously Asta you get just get straight up. She provides a little bit of speed and stuff, which is quite nice. Uh, doesn't she also do like fire, do boost fire damage? Do oh no, she deals fire damage. I know she boosts a little bit, so yeah, she's pretty good as well. Pila, oh yeah, Pila as well, Pila. Uh, Pila can also buff, can't she? So Pila or Asta or whoever, they're, they're, they're both pretty good. Tingyun seems better than Bronya. Uh, I really doubt that i'd like it's so there's a couple things that make her a little bit better like they are both really good characters and tingyun is definitely very good for um a four star like she's insane for a four star like no four star should be that good but apparently apparently high were like yep that's adam the difference between tingyun and bronya is tingyun can um boost the attack of a character but the, the thing is bronya can do that also but also have them go on the next turn, you know? So with this support, I'll show you now, she could go I could go straight to Sila and I can instantly do damage with Sila. Whereas Tingyun, I have to wait for her turn. So honestly, I think that's one reason why Bronya is a little bit better because you can actually choose when your character can go. Obviously, she doesn't do that with her ult, but you can combine the ult and the uh, support to actually, um, you know, support your character. But yeah, that that's why uh, Bronya is a little bit better. Tingyun is still a great character. Like she's she's like amazing, especially if you don't have Bronya. If you don't have Bronya, then you, you live in life. If you have Tingyun, and you can use them both together and do even more damage. So <laughs> I don't think it really matters uh, too much which one you have. It just depends what you prefer. If you prefer being able to do tons of damage earlier, then maybe uh, Bronya is more for you because look, I could just instantly go straight to Sila and fight whereas I would have to wait a whole turn which say and it could be like pretty critical as well sometimes so say your, your characters are super super low on health or something like that they're super low on health and you have to w use your Tingyun to boost damage so you boost Sila's damage, but Sila dies before you can get to Sila. That attack boost has just gone down out the window, you know? Whereas Bronya can take you straight to the attack boost, which could possibly save your entire run. Obviously, though, it, it depends what, um, in, in the world, it's, in the worlds, it's quite annoying, the simulated worlds, it's quite annoying because, um, obviously you have to do the whole thing again, but against, like, normal enemies, I guess it's not that annoying. Someone was asking about tips for new people. I would say don't just stick to, like, a four, four-person team. 
So by that I mean like for like a new person, don't just focus on four. Don't don't fo focus on these four. Whoever you've got, don't focus on just that four team. You want to focus on a range of different types of characters. So you got the support characters like Ting Yun. You got Ting Yun, who's a support character. And you know, there we go. And she attack boosts that, and same with Ronya, attack boost. Uh, we've got Sila, who does a lot of damage, and obviously she's a much different character. So you want to build, because obviously if you have a team full of supports, what are you going to do with that? What support? Support the supports? But you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's a bit useless when you when you just have supports. So you want to build DPS characters and support characters. You want to make sure that you have uh, a range of elements too, because obviously. Um, it's gonna help. There's a lot of bosses, especially in like the worlds. If you want to clear the worlds and the halls, then you're gonna need to um, have a range of different elements because a lot of them will be much weaker to say uh, ice or fire or something like that. And if you don't have one of those characters, you can be severely, you know, disadvantaged. How do you level up fast? How do you level up fast? That's an interesting question. Um, so as I said, not the worst idea to use your fuel. Not the worst idea at all. To get level ups, what you want to do, obviously the first thing is to grind up quests. So you see these quests, this quest menu. Yeah, you, you, if you don't have many here, you can always go to your messages, message some of these people. They will give you quests, which will give you about, it depends which quests they are. It can range from about 100 to 300 to about 600 XP. So you could get a 600 XP max. And then also another good way uh, is literally just by farming any Calyxes. So Calyxes, if I go to the Calyxes here, if you, if you have them unlocked, I'm, I'm assuming you do. So you could either do these ones if you need certain materials. So you, this this you can use your fuel on because you, you get 50 XP for each one. You do it six times, you get 300 XP per go. And so that's 300 XP per fuel. So if you use about 10 of them fuel, you, you got 3000 XP. And you're already pretty much at the next level. Depending on what level you're at, you, you probably go up like three levels if you're super low leveled. So yeah, yeah, I think it's I think it's a good idea to obviously don't use all your fuel. I'm not telling you to like waste all your fuel. Save your fuel as much as you can. But like if you need to get a, to a certain level, it's not bad to use your fuel just to farm stuff. Just just like farm, but farm useful things. Don't farm pointless things. So don't farm artifacts or relics. Don't do that. Wait till you can get the five stars. But if you want to farm credits, want to farm uh, level up materials, want to farm artifact materials. Yeah, you can use your fuel on that because you will use that in the future. So those are things you can use in the future and it will help you. Dailies as well. Dailies is a good thing. Um, so yeah, you got your daily quests here. Wait, here, no. Yeah, daily quests. And yeah, you just need to complete like four of these. Five, maybe. I don't know. It says I've only completed four here, but you, yeah, it gives you 100 and then you get XP for each. Yeah, 200 XP, 200 XP, well, 260 XP each one. That's like a thousand. Wait, is that a thousand? If I do my math correctly, 80... Yeah, that's almost, yeah, like a thousand. That's over a thousand for just doing a daily, you know? And, you know, at the moment, it's only 3,000 XP I need. So those are some ways you can just, ex like, level up quickly. And, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty decent way.